Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Realm of Legendary Gag Wayne. Today I'm going to be showcasing two mods, two commissions that I made for some guys. And uh, yeah, we're going to start off with Cassava, the one that you see right here. Now, my commissions, they are not cheap. I do charge 150 minimum to work on anything. These uh, cost a pretty penny. I had to uh, make custom outfits and uh, different animations, all that stuff. So with this one, I was given some concept. I believe it's something from uh, one of the Fate series or one of those things. I'm not sure. I kind of made this little belt thing from scratch. And, you know, I really don't like making these uh, sort of cape skirt things. But as you can see, both of them have it. Everybody just wants these for some reason. And it's really tedious to make. Um, but yeah, I did not make this hair. Uh, I do not do long hair, so if you were to get a commission from me, don't ask me to do some long hair that goes past your shoulders. I'm not going to do it. The answer will be no. So, this Cassava character has three transformations, and she has a weapon, or what we like to call forbidden weapons. They pretty much will take you from like a S tier, it's like an S tier plus, you know, it's very, very powerful. But we're going to start off with the transformation. I did make this animation here. Alright, so I'm not sure what he calls these forms, like advanced Saiyan form. I don't, I don't know. I just made it, alright? It looks cool. Uh, had to make I did have to make some uh, a bit of a long hair. This is sort of a new territory for me But I think it came out nice looks cool So if I hold up She goes to the second form This one looks really really nice too And I'm making these all from like some manga the, the, the reference is from some sort of manga I don't know. I don't think it's AF. It's some other weird manga with these Saiyans that come to fight and they have like this female Saiyan character. This is uh, heavily inspired from her, I guess. And his final form is the S tier form. Again, I don't really recall the names of a lot of these forms. I just do what I'm told and make them. That is a lot of aura for this character. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah, I guess it kind of, it kind of had to make like some new eyebrows, and yeah, this is a uh, really sweet. Really so we're gonna go back to normal, and we're gonna look at this character. Her name is Luna, and I did make this ice sword from scratch. So you know that, you know, this definitely costs pretty penny. If I have to make things from scratch, it's going to cost pretty penny. Um, the hair I did not make. It was just imported. I did uh, work on modifying the outfit to look like the concept I was given with some adjustments that I thought looked better. I had to make the boots attached to the pants to kind of give it that sleek look. And again, the whole little skirt thing is very annoying because it does cause clipping depending on the animation you're in. But it sort of works out because it's the same color as the pants, so you'd hardly notice it. This character has uh, some forms. They're not all custom. Only one of them is custom. Well, there's some alterations, but only one of them is truly like custom and made from scratch. So we have her regular form. And as you can see, this is really a uh, this is a really quick bad attempt, you know, because this is, this wasn't something I was paid to do. Uh, but I wanted his sword to stay in the in the hand. I wanted the sword to stay in the hand, so I just went ahead and did that free. Just kept the sword to stay the same. Now, one thing that kind of looks good, even though it took minimal effort, again, I was not paid to do it, is the absolute zero form. This one is actually the supersonic. It's, it's literally the same supersonic. But, um, absolute zero, I hold left. I won't let you! And she does the hand signs with just one hand. It's pretty cool. Typically, it's with both. 
I actually love the way this form looks the most. This looks super cool, and it goes with the aesthetic of the ice sword. Very, very awesome. I went ahead and made the black lines on the hair white, because it just gave more of that frosty look. And also, if you guys could notice, uh, the ice has sort of like a cold frost mist to it, even from like uh, the very edges of it. It's really cool. I thought it was a nice touch to add on to it. She typically uses Foos or Fuse moveset. Again, this was not something that I was paid to do to make the sword moveset, but I felt like I was like, you know, let me go ahead and throw this in. You know, it's it's a cool idea, and I know I could do it. But <laughs> I I will tell you guys, it's the last time I do that. It takes so much time to animate a custom sword that's always unsheathed. You know, uh, into the hands of, of the fighter. It's it's because typically it's supposed to be behind your back. That's the default way. But this guy wanted it in his in the normal stance of the character. So I had to really work with everything, make some different changes of things, and it came out nice. Oh yeah. I also change the charge so when you press like the light heavy I had to change it from like the red effects to a blue one I'll show you guys a second and I also obviously change fuse fog to more of like an icy flow you guys can see here you can see the ice coming out. I thought that was a cool touch. I didn't want to keep it the same. But aside from that, it's, it's pretty much the vanilla moveset with a little bit of the style change. The Every animation, every punch goes right back into her normal stance. So it looks natural like it was always meant to be that way. Alright, so let's see. What else do we have? I did make a custom charge up and this custom charge move if someone is next to you they will freeze it's using uh, the effects and template from the new Broly charge up and I think it's pretty cool so when she does this you know she kind of like closes her eyes and once she maxes out or stops charging so kind of put like an ice barrier around her and whoever is around will be frozen and then knocked away. All right. Now we're going to look at one of her other forms. I believe she has two more forms. Now you wanted the ultra instinct animation. It's not custom. Obviously this character could really have a lot of customized things. I went ahead and did the eyes. I was paid to make some custom eyes. So I drew this myself and put it on there. I thought it was pretty cool. This is pretty much just a Ultra Instinct. But the form is supposed to be called something else in his head. Looks pretty cool. I really like the way it looks. And I said having the six eyes isn't a bad idea either. So we added the six eyes there as well. As you can see, my custom eyes, which I also drew. Kind of looks very, you know, cloudy. And the last one is the actual custom animation. Uh, this was from a concept that he had from some game that I'm not sure of. I don't know a lot where a lot of these come from, but I pretty much had to copy it one to one. This hair uh, is a modification of the base hair. I just kind of like uh, modified it to look a little bit more symmetrical as instructed. But yeah, that's pretty much what it is. When people get commissions from me, 
I give them the opportunity to have complete exclusive access to it. This means I cannot release it to my Patreons. It's a 14% charge on whatever they pay, and then I can never release it. That is unfortunately the case for this. He was like, hey, I paid for it. Y'all ain't put in on this. Nobody getting this, so he paid the fee, and I can't release it. It's a cool character, but you know, hey, we'll live. <laughs> now, one of my favorite things, of course, will have to be the uh, Gate Bogue. We've made fun of this name so many times, but it's from uh, Fate Zero, or one of those series, from a character called Lancer, and like how my character has a weapon that just makes him super powerful, this one does too. So here it goes. This gives her two Lancers, and... These are one of the things that I charge a lot of money for. Uh, this one was a little bit, um, we took some off the budget because he did not go with the grab ultimate attack. So it's a little bit more simplified. I do like the way it just turns out and it helps you a lot in combat. So we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see how well it is. These obviously do take key to run so you need to have moves like, let's see, which one is it? I think I kind of forgotten the, uh, yeah, see, I'm doing the wrong things. I think I kind of forgotten what it is to charge, but I'm pretty sure there's a charge button for this. Let's check it out again. Is it not this? Yes, there it is. So. This actually should have worked with the uh, animation of the weapons, but we didn't get that far. If I press B, it'll pretty much parry whoever. It's like a red tornado. Very fun. And you're pretty much invincible while you do this for most of the frames. It does have a very low window to grab somebody out of it. But with this, you just do a lot of damage and you move around really quickly. If I use my charge button, this is pretty much what's going to happen. And yeah, as you can see, I've, I've run out of key, so I can do it. I can hold it in Try to block your shrewd. So yeah, that's pretty much that, and you can take it away by pressing the same button. As you can see, it's kind of like uh unsummons it. Looks very nice. I'll definitely probably use some of these as a stream shot. Very, very cool. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much these two characters. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Which one is your favorite? Uh, Cassava is actually not paid for as an exclusive, at least not at the time of making this video. Who knows that could change? But, uh, if it does not, I will make the character more completely for myself. I have to remake the base hair because obviously I can't release someone else's work and uh, then I'll be able to release it. This looks super cool. This is a very old mod right here. Ice Shard Blix. And what it does is it turns the person that it has um, locked onto into ice. And then blast him away with the shards. It's very old, very uh, low quality, but you know, it's cool. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.